I'm yeah, Wayne Cooney, the Testing Commissioning Manager for Canberra Metro, looking after the testing and validation of all the rail systems, rolling stock and stop systems uh, across the network. There's two different types of signalling systems that we use, mainly on the job. We use uh, traffic-based and intersection-based signalling, where we use T-lights, which you see behind me, and we also use a rail-based signalling system to tell the drivers that it's safe to uh, operate across the switches and points across the system. The traffic lights do have three distinct colours which uh, correspond very much with uh, what you see on the, in your normal road traffic system. Uh, the red indicates for the, the normal driver to stop, there's an amber to indicate for a driver to slow down, but we use a white tee different to that of a, a normal green traffic light to indicate to a driver to, that it's safe to proceed. Light rail vehicles will have priority. Uh, it's important they do have priority to minimise disruption and minimise the, the journey time for the travelling public. Uh, the priorities uh, can be the, the change of a tea light, a white tea, uh, at any given time during a cycle, and that helps, uh, I guess, make the, the system a, little, a lot more efficient. And um, we try and clear that white tea as soon as possible and hand the intersection back for use uh, as quickly as possible as well. So the main safety message is don't run the red. Uh, I, I guess obey the road rules, don't queue across intersections. And I guess for pedestrians as well that aren't used to or familiar with light rail, I guess look left and right, keep an eye out and uh, I guess acknowledge the fact that a light rail vehicle might be coming.